Sup? So, you may be hearing like construction or other like background noise right now. Because right now there's construction going on around my house and it's really annoying. They do it like at 7 a.m. And it really annoys the crap out of me. Why 7 a.m. when I'm sleeping? Hello? Why? It's summer. I have the window open too. And I can basically hear it because it's outside my window and it sucks. Um, but what is going on guys? I got a UU match. This will probably be the final UU match for a long while. Hopefully for a long while. It's against a guy named Devoke or Dewok or something like that. I have a team here that's based kind of around Pharaoh Seed and a Quillfish Wall Core thing, but it's not exactly structured too well because, as you can see, if someone gets Stealth Ox up, I'm pretty much screwed, which is a bit of a problem that I don't really have. Uh, honestly, I think it's constructed really bad. And judging from his team, his team looks pretty dangerous, as, and as you'll see in the battle too, he has pretty unique sets, which is definitely going to catch me off guard and give me a bit of problems. And also, he outplays me a lot in this match. So he's going to lead off with the Mew. I do predict this correctly. That's why I'm going to lead off with my uh, Calm Mighty Miss Magius. I could go for the sub first turn, but I was thinking he may go for a Taunt or the Stealth Ox this turn. So I might as well just go for the Shadow Ball, get as much damage as I can. But unfortunately, he goes for Toxic on the first turn. And I was just kind of kicking myself because if I went for sub, I would have blocked that Toxic. I could have called mine. Rec Train on his team for a bit and probably took out like a few pokes or something like that. I don't know. I would have given him more problems with this thing is the whole point. But even though my Shadow Ball does look like it did like 50%, I'm still thinking maybe it won't take it out due to the min-max variance and he may live it because of the leftovers he just got. So I side switched my Gabalion, um, possibly either predicting a switch, but he goes for a Roost unfortunately, so I decided to go for the Stone as predicting a Teeny to come in. However, I overpredict, I miss, and he gets his rocks up, so that was a fail of a turn that's like negative 50 points there for me. So I go for a Sword Dance on this turn thinking um, something might switch in, you know, that was kind of bad for me to do that. But he actually stays in again, goes for the Reflect. Oh yeah, I was predicting him to go for the Will-O-Wisp because I carry Lumberry on this thing, that's why I went for the Sword Dance. But anyways, I am going to predict him this time to switch into the Champ, not into Victini, that's why I'm going to go for the Close Combat because Stone Edge was kind of obvious again. Even though he has the Reflect up, I, Stone Edge is still going to do a hell of a lot on a Victini, especially at, since I'm at plus 2. But since he does have the Reflect Duff, um, a Close Combat won't take out the Machamp from that range. He's going to live with a lot of health. And I did not see any leftovers, so I was thinking here, maybe he might be Choice Scarf. I wasn't too sure, so I'm just going to switch out for now. Go into my Quillfish, give him the Intimidate drop, and uh, basically take the fighting move. But I, but he predicts that correctly. Goes to Victini and just takes me out straight up with a Psychic, because I thought he was going to overpredict here and go for a fire move or some other different move other than psychic and he turns out to be a special victini so i'm not too sure what set this thing is it could be an expert considering most expert belts run special psychic attack so i go into my darmanitan because this is choice scarf to me at least and he straight up takes me out with a psychic and outspeeds me so i'm thinking all right he's probably choice scarf but as you see later we'll find out what he really is so i decided to switch back into gabalion um i don't know why even though i was thinking he was choice scarf I didn't think at the time Kobalion had bad special defense, but luckily he switches out for some reason, so I wasn't too sure why he did that, even though he is Choice Scarf. I honestly don't know why he switches to Kobalion if I was thinking he's Choice Scarf, but whatever. But he predicts me to go for the Stone Edge, he predicts that correctly, goes into the Machamp. So I make a stupid play, I go for the obvious play and go into Gruntilda. And um, usually I don't do these stupid plays, well, obvious plays, not stupid, where I go in my Ghost Pokemon predicting the Fighting type attack from a Fighting Pokemon. Every time I do that, I always get predicted. That's why I never do these plays, and I got predicted again. In hindsight, I definitely should have went for into my Pharaoh Seed. He would have died from my Iron Barbs that turn. So I go into it now. His name is Seeds on You, because that's what he does. He puts Seeds on you. Pretty obvious. But he makes the switch into Umbreon this time, probably predicting me to go for an attack and predicting me to, uh, well, thinking that I could live a bullet punch is the point. But due to the fact that this thing is a curse set, not a wish special defensive set, this thing is more easily dealable. Well, it's easy to deal with now rather than it being the regular special defensive. So I just basically stand Leech Seed. I don't care if he's cursing. Even if he gets a plus six, it's still not going to do a lot, and I can probably just outstall him at some point because he only has probably one healing move with the uh, Moonlight. But he finally switches back. He switches out and goes to the Shaman. I thought he was going to switch into Victini this turn. That's why I went for the double Leech Seed. It puts seeds on you. This is what this, this, is what this Pharaoh Seed does. It puts seeds on you. But he, I'm going to go for the Protect here just to scout out what this Shaman is going to do. He goes for a sub. So this kind of tells me that he probably doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. He probably has Air Slash, Earth Power, and Sea Flare. That's kind of like what my logic is. I don't know why my logic is like that. So I just stand just to take the risk of it just for the hell of it. Luckily, he does not have Hidden Power Fire. He has Air Slash. So that definitely does confirm that he probably has Earth Power and Sea Flare as his uh, third and fourth move. 
as I do break his sub with a Jaya Ball. And at this point, he's kind of realizing he can't really do much to this Ferrisseed again. Ferrisseed is such a good Pokemon, you, you people should definitely use it. Now, I decide to go for a Gyro Ball here, thinking Victini's gonna come in, but Victini does not come in, and um, he just knocks, he just sacks his Machamp through the rocks. So that's pretty cool and all. But now Victini's gonna come back in, and now he's getting Stealth Rocks damage, so now I can see what item he has after he attacks me. So I decide to go for the tech, the CES leftovers, or anything of the sort. He goes for Overheat, so he's definitely more of a special Victini. I just wasn't too sure what kind of Victini, because he's running very unique sets, so I gotta watch out for that. But he's gonna switch into Kingdra now, as I did not actually predict that. I predicted him to over predict is the whole point. I didn't predict him to switch out though. But he does switch out. I'm able to put seats on this Kingdra. Weaken this Kingdra a bit so that way I can eventually come in with a Kobalion and knock it out with one close combat. Because I think from that range I'll be able to. But now he's going to switch back out to Victini. I knew this would happen. I was just hoping that when I go for Gyro Ball and hit it with a Gyro Ball. It will take it down to the point where Stealth Box uh, will take it out the next time he switches in. But unfortunately it doesn't look like that. And then, not only that, I... Misclick. I did not click Protect. I accidentally clicked, I believe, Gyro Ball or something. I wanted to do Protect. If I did go for Protect and see when he went for Overheat, I think I probably still would have stayed in anyways. I don't think I had anything else to really take the hit. I'm not really too sure. But at this point, I decided to switch my Good Tittle in just to make him go for another Overheat. So that way his special attack will go down some more. That way I can get a free switch into Kabalion. But he actually switches out. And it's kind of confused me because I'm still thinking at this point this thing is Choice Scarf. Even though my Shadow Ball was pretty obvious, he decided to switch into Umbreon, which is the very good play. So, I'm going to make a very obvious switch into my um, Kabalion, thinking that it's... Well, the whole point was switching to Kabalion, I thought was pretty obvious, and I thought he would predict that. But just in case, I decided to switch in, thinking he might go for a curse, thinking that I can't do anything to him. Especially since I talked to that, I can't do anything to him. As he actually does go for the curse, which is kind of surprising. I thought he would actually go to the Victini and predict this and I'd be screwed and all. But, you know, that's completely fine. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. It's all good. But I know for a fact now that I've seen all of his Pokemon sets. Kabalion is my number one Pokemon on this team. It's his number one threat to his team. He can't really touch me with anything with it. Because I outspeed all of his pokes with this, barring the Victini. Because I'm thinking it's Choice Scarf at the moment. So I go for a close combat. And I knock it out easily because I have plus 2 attack with the sword dance. Now I'm pretty much, I'm thinking, I'm ready to sweep here as long as Victini dies from the Stealth Rocks. If Victini dies from the Stealth Rocks, then things will be fine. But I know for a fact it won't. But for some reason, he decides to switch to the Shaman. I do have the X Scissor and I'm at plus 2 attack. So that's easy going to knock it out. It's kind of looking like a Kabalion sweep. But now he's going to bring in the Victini here in a moment. I don't know why I didn't speed this up for some reason. But whatever, it's all good. But now he brings in Victini. Uh, this thing is a problem. He didn't die from rocks, so that's I found that as a bit of a problem. So I decided to switch out. I go into my Zapdos here, uh, basically as dead fodder and just to take whatever hit. As I switched into Zapdos, I kind of checked after this turn what set my Darmanitan exactly was. Because I realized Darmanitan, my choice card Darmanitan name is different. It's not supposed to be George. And it turns out that I brought... My choice bandit Darmanitan instead of my choice scarf Darmanitan. So therefore, I make the switch to the Gabalion because now I realize this thing is probably not choice scarf considering the way he's been switching it out before against my faster pokes. And I just outspeed him knocking out with the X Scissor. So that does confirm that he was not choice scarf. He was actually probably choice specs because a psychic from that range on my Darmanitan earlier shouldn't have killed me unless it was choice specs. Most likely at least. But at this point, it really, it's my game. Umbreon can't touch me with any move. Payback, I get the justified boost that I can just sword dance and beat him. And then Mew doesn't have an attacking move at all. That's why I sped up this whole battle at this point. And then I'm just going to take this Mew out finally after some stalling a bit with a X Scissor. And that's going to be a 3-0 victory because of Kabalion being so amazing and actually very useful. As we're going to go to the key play of the battle. The only key play of this battle is really just Kobalion, the presence of my Kobalion, and keeping it alive and playing it uh, well. Because while a lot of his pokes do threaten Kobalion, threaten my Kobalion, it's just his sets don't really work against Kobalion. If I had not had this Kobalion, I would have been done because this guy outplayed me for most of the game until Kobalion came through for me. But regardless, that was still a very good game, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I'm probably i'm trying to feign away from yu yu for now just because i've had like five matches in a row for it so look forward to non yu yu battles and hopefully i'll try to get something unique but right now the battle finder is down so i can't really find battles but i'll probably ask for some on skype
But that about does it for me, guys. So like if you like, comment if you like, and subscribe if you like. And I'll see you fools later.